Do I have to be in the union for this? You have to be in the union. Greetings from the road. We're very professional here. We do everything in one take. On the left is Paul, a great guy that I dropped a 51 shoebox Ford. Nice original car I hauled up from Kingman, Arizona. Great guy. He lives very close to Steve. Steve is generously donating four engines complete on stands with transmissions. This is the crown jewel as far as I'm concerned. This is a surprise for Josh Conrad, who's not going to see this video. Too bad, Josh, until you've seen this engine in person. So this is a delayed post. This is on Saturday. We've been already at it for a couple hours, loading up the other three. Steve's going to explain to you about this engine, and uh, take it away, Steve. Well, Paul, uh, you had an interest in this engine, so uh, the uh, gentleman that uh, restored it, uh, his name was Don Kreitzer. He was an early Ford V8 Club member. And he took a true 32 Ford V8 and transmission and he restored it uh, to the condition that you see, which is really true show quality. Yeah. Um, it's single barrel downdraft, carburetor, the high coil, uh, the large spark plugs uh, that were, they were 18 millimeters. Uh, the high water pumps, I guess I mentioned that, um, and it's just, it's a remarkable uh, restoration and absolutely beautiful and will fit in the early Ford V8 Museum uh, for people to appreciate. And these are very so, rare, correct? Extremely so. No one would go to the expense, and like you mentioned, Steve, Judging by the weight of the three engines from the Tau collection, you believe them to be hollow. This one is significantly heavier, and this is probably a fully functional engine. Most likely. You could actually drop this into a car, and that's probably never going to happen. But for someone to go to the expense to do this for a display purpose, is just it doesn't make sense economically. And the stand on it is just well, yeah, a work of say, art. I mean, look at that stand. Yeah, I mean... Oh my gosh, now are there any features on this that you want to point out that you think are important or I, rare? I forgot to mention the cast aluminum pan. And so there's those, a cast, now was that original back in the day? The very first ones. Really? Cast aluminum pan. The very first 32 8s had cast aluminum yes, pans. Okay. that's correct. And then they were pressed steel after that. So does it appear to you that this is not having any parts that are repops or no, aftermarket these are all original no, absolutely wow not. so this may not be an original complete engine but it's composed of original period parts That's now you had mentioned over here not to detract but we've got two batteries here and these batteries tell us about these batteries these are display batteries meant for the museum the guy that made them was local yes he was okay. local here in eugene it's an independent battery manufacturer max batteries max batteries yes and uh he made uh quite a number of these for the early ford v8 club members here in the local area okay and there were two remaining uh and i bought them both uh, thinking that i would use them in my cars and uh, i kept them on a the shelf they've not been activated they haven't been charged with any electrolyte no there's no electrolyte in them so they are strictly display, for display, but if someone wanted to buy one and charge it up, uh, they're ready to go. Yeah, I don't think there'll be anything other than display. And can you pick up that carburetor and explain yeah. to us what this, that is? That's a rare jewel there. Yeah. This is going on the engine. This goes, this belongs on the 32 Ford V8, right here like this. Okay. And I took it off so it wouldn't get damaged. Uh, it's a Detroit, a true Detroit lubricator carburetor. So to your knowledge, to find one in that condition, oh. just the carburetor in that condition, which looks to be fully functional, restored, what do you estimate the value of just the carburetor to oh, be? Oh, Lord. I yeah. be, it's priceless. It's priceless. And, yes. a, and an engine like this, which by all appearances is fully functional, you could put it in... I mean, this is kind of a priceless engine too, right? Absolutely. Wow. Because it's true 32. Right. It, Look at this. It's dead on the money. You can't really tell because we're in low light, but this is yeah. the the factory green, right? That's correct. And, and uh, the aluminum intake manifold, the cast iron exhaust manifolds, 
Uh, we talked about the cast aluminum pan. We talked about the high coil. Uh, one of the things I found really interesting, if you want to come around here, sure. is you look under here. Look at this petcock right here. Right. L look how it's got the flutes in it like this. Wow. That is an original petcock. The now, other is, that, is that a oil drain petcock? Or no, that's water. That's a water drain for the yeah. block. Oh yes. my goodness, and that's original. Because there wasn't antifreeze back right. in those days. And so at night in the freezing weather, they would drain the engine. And for and you folks that don't know, Model T's, what they would do at night is you drain your water out of the Model T and then you build a fire under the crankcase in the morning to get the oil so it would be fluid enough so you could start it. So and it then flow. Right, yes. and then you'd, put the, you'd warm up your water, it was probably frozen, and you'd put it back into the block. This is the air cleaner that goes on the carburetor. That's the air cleaner for the car. So, and again, that's an original one. Is that, that an oil bath or just a dry? No, it's, uh, I believe that it's just dry. Kind of, it appears right. to be dry. Right, it doesn't look like an oil bath. No. This is absolutely fantastic. No, it's and again, not an oil bath. what's really unusual about the early Ford V8 Foundation Museum and Joshua Conrad is his desire to have next to every car an engine that would go in that car from that period, which is extremely hard to find. And this, to me, what I'm picking up today, the three Tau car uh, engines, uh, a 12 out of a Zephyr, right? Lincoln Zephyr. Zephyr and, and the two eights, those are valuable enough. But then this is like unbelievable, an unbelievable donation by Steve. And I told him he couldn't go to a better place. This will be on display on the floor at the early Ford V8 Foundation Museum. It's located in Auburn, Indiana. It is my favorite museum to haul to. Joshua Conrad is my favorite director. Good things come to him because he's a good guy and it's a great organization. So you folks, if you haven't joined, join. If you're in Auburn, they're right off Interstate 69. You can't miss them. Look for the big ass Batmobile and it's the closest museum to the interstate. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much to Paul who helped out today, drove over, helped us load. Thank you my, very much to Steve for his yeah, generous this donation. Is like this is what he looks like. Boy, what a handsome guy. No wonder he doesn't take that hat off. Boy, the women must be beating a path to his door. So, all right, that's it for me. I'm gonna load up. I hope you enjoy this video. Visit the early Ford V8 Foundation Museum in Auburn, Indiana. You can see this on display. Have a good Sunday.